Coconuts TV. I'm Laurel, and for this episode of Freaky Feast, we have come all the way to Sham Shui Po in Hong Kong to this place called the Snake King Company, where they serve snake soup and a really soup made from cow penis, geckos, and silkworms. Should be delicious and maybe slightly venomous. So her father opened this store 50 years ago and here she is still manning it. And today we're gonna learn how to debone snake, which you can see over here is happening. First I tear off the muscle that was along the spine. So this meat around the ribs, it's, it's you know, it's the belly of the snake. So it's, it's I guess, the most delicious part. Here's a single rib. You can see it's quite delicate and small, but coupled with very strong muscles and makes her one powerful creature. So she's removing all the bones so that, and the bones will be boiled to make a soup. So in the five snake soup, there's five different species, the banded crate, the Chinese cobra, the Asiatic rat snake, the black racer, and the copperhead racer and the snake meat will be used in the soup as well. So she says the reason why Chinese people like to eat snake meat is because in the winter it keeps you warm and it makes your limbs less tired. About to have some snake soup with my cobra friend. I've had crocodile before and it does remind me of crocodile meat. But it tastes mostly like, um, you know, chicken soup. Snake, on the other hand, is cholesterol and toxin-free, so apparently it's a very healthy meat to have. If you add Chinese medicine, then it'll help you with any aches and pains you have, which she'll show us. So you can see it's snake meat with different Chinese medicinal herbs. These are all natural plant-based ingredients. Well, it smells like traditional Chinese medicine. It smells bitter and not appetizing. And I'll let you know what it tastes like. It doesn't taste that bad. It's very earthy. It's quite bitter, but it's not bad. So the insects that are in this, you can see all the ingredients are very deliberate. It's one male gecko, one female gecko, cow penis, and male silk bugs. I, think, I guess it makes sense, you know, this is a very sexually charged soup, so it makes sense that you'd have a male and a female. Um, it's actually quite savory. It's quite bitter, but it does have mostly a savory um, taste to it, so I can see how it warm you up on a cold day. I want to go make so many babies now. Stay away. So over here I have a bottle of baby mouse wine. It's exactly what it sounds like. You can see, oh my god the baby mice floating at the bottom. 